Hello everybody. Today I got my party tie on because I'm going to share the most complex edit I've ever done for a video that was largely done as a commercial advertisement on Facebook. At the end of the video, what I'm going to do is I'll share a little bit of how I did it. But right now, let's watch the video. I could tell from the very beginning of the day, things were not going to be normal. As I was preparing to go talk to a client about selling their home, I stopped and looked at my iPad and saw this email. We are Real Estate Agents United to stop your marketing presentation. We have been watching. We have grown tired of your silky smooth aerial videos and the transitions from the Matterport 3D overhead view into the house view. Your address specific websites crafted for every home are also problematic for almost all agents. You are creating an unfair marketing advantage for your clients and this must stop. Just as your marketing influence has global reach, so do we. Yeah, your YouTube blogs reached out here to my clients too, and they've learned they can even view the 3D 24-hour open house by Matterport on their phone. We've gone for years without this real marketing stuff. I refuse to explain the reason I do not use these goodies is because of the cost. Now don't make me come out there and visit you. Honey. You got to stop this website for every home presentation. For centuries, we have found being very pretty works. And if we have to start paying for all this marketing, we will not have the money for all our hairdressers. And that's gonna be a real problem. So stop it. You have been warned. That was quite some warning. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go to the appointment. I'm going to offer the client video, Matterport, and address-specific websites because that's real marketing. And if you'd like to talk to me, all you have to do is click now. I hope everybody enjoyed that 2 minutes and 15 seconds as much as I enjoyed putting it together. For equipment, I just used my standard Canon 80D tripod, and I think there was one GoPro shot in there. I also used some B-roll footage from a drone that I had taken previously. Many of the images were taken from pixabay.com, and then I wove them all together with Adobe Premiere Pro. So much of what we do is not really the equipment, but it is the post-editing. Now, I'm gonna put a link to a professional photographer that did a shoot with a $500 camera in the description below. Look, it's all about post editing. Get your software, put it to work, and see what you can come up with. Because remember, if you take the approach that realtors can do anything, you will. Thank you. <laughs>